I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Good morning, you guys. So I'm gonna take you along for the day today because we're gonna do some DIY projects. Number one on my to-do list is to get started on the accent wall in Capri's nursery. I'm going to be doing some wallpaper, so I wanna do that. And then we're gonna add like some lettering, which later on in today, Michael helped me with, as well as another DIY project of like my dream home decor item I found on Facebook Marketplace the other day. We drove to PA to go get it, and now we have to complete it. So he has to do a little DIYing to finish it up and get it ready to put in our bedroom so I'm excited to share that with you guys Capri had me up I want to say three to four times last night hence the very dark circles that are already naturally inherited badly it just get worse when I'm up all night with a newborn um but I'm gonna head upstairs I'm gonna get ready really quick because Capri is down for her first morning nap get them ready and then like I said I want to get started on that project so before I go upstairs to get ready I'm just gonna make myself a quick coffee um, I'm not sure if I told you guys, but Capri, when she was about like three to four weeks old, she suffered from reflux. So at that point, I cut caffeine and I was just doing decaf, which I'm still kind of sticking to just in case. But it looks like what is the real problem for her is actually that she has... Um, she has a, da a dairy allergy. So for those of you that are dairy free, if you didn't know, someone actually reached out to me and told me this over on Instagram. The Coffee Mate creamers are dairy free and they have like some really awesome flavors. So it's great to add your sweetness. I won't add additional sugar or anything. And I want to say I've been dairy free now for about two weeks like strictly sticking to nothing dairy in, in it because she's doing so much better now and not so like fussy and colicky so that's great for me <laughs> and also great for her because i was feeling so bad she would just literally scream with pain and we did not know what to do i'm just gonna make myself as you saw i put a decaf nespresso pod and then a little bit of coffee mate creamer and that'll Sit be on the couch next to this one she's doing some crafts right what are you doing mila um, um, craft. Some crafts. She's doing these. Melissa and Doug, you guys, they're like the best um, crafts for like kids. They have tons of different things. We have like probably six different kinds. They have reusable sticker pads. They have like dress your own doll that are magnets. Make your own pocketbook. Yeah, so this will entertain her while I set my coffee and get ready. The both girls will be busy. Then I can get ready in peace. And then we'll go ahead and get the both of them ready for the day. I'm napping and lasting in her bassinet. <laughs> I come upstairs. And she's crying. She's like later in my bed right now. Little baby was supposed to be napping, right? But I took her out of her bed to nap because she is waking. She just did 30 minutes. This is not long. Okay, as you can hear, Capri is up already, so I'm just gonna grab, let's see, just the very first thing, there's a little lounge set, <laughs> nice, easy to go, because I need to get her ready now, and get to her, cause she's crying. Okay, now all is well. Mommy has her, so she's not crying anymore. <laughs> We're gonna change you. We're gonna change you now. Oh, you got mama's hair. You got my hair. So yeah, I just quickly put on this lounge set. We'll do a little front tuck. Capri is not like not having attention on her. <laughs> Mama's here. Look, look, you want me to pay attention? You want all the attention on you?
Tell me. Do you like your headband? Do you like your headband? Yeah? Oh. 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 She loves talking to daddy, right? What did you say about your hair? Funny. We gotta do something different. We can't always do the same hairstyle. Okay, mommy. So two little buttons. That's cute. Turn around. It's cute for you. Something different. Mmm. Why are you so juicy and so cute? It's your daddy. Show that. Okay. Go ahead. It's the most. <laughs> you are beautiful. <laughs> Oh wow, Capri said you are the sister with the best styled hair ever. <laughs> she said no. She loves it. I was trying to find the same outfit as yours for Capri. They didn't make it that little. She had to be one. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Alright, go ahead Mila. Alright, it is nap time for these chickadees. I'm gonna put Capri, I'm gonna feed Capri, put her down. I'm gonna put Mila down first, and then I get to tackle the things that we need to get done once they're all sleeping. Go ahead, climb into your bed. Okay, have a good nap, okay? Okay, Mommy. Love you. Love you. <laughs> your turn, Capri. Your turn to nap. All right, one down, one to go. <laughs> the middle one, I was going down. So that's why it's good to do corner, corner, middle. And middle, true. Okay, so we are in Capri's room, if you can't tell. I'm just sitting in front of her crib. Today is gonna be wallpaper install day. You guys can see we have this big blank wall. We painted the walls almost like an off-white. Mike originally was like skeptical because he didn't know what my vision was, but I planned on always doing wallpaper to that be like the statement piece in the room. This way everything else could be more on the neutral side. I wanna do like some name lettering on there, which I have laid out over here. I'll show you guys, let me just grab it. And here's a sneak peek of what the wallpaper is gonna look like. This does take two people because it is like an eight foot by like 12 foot wall. So my mom's gonna help me today installing it. And of course Capri's not sleeping in her crib so I have a bunch of stuff in here right now. But these are the letters that I purchased for her name wall. So as long as the wallpaper isn't like too busy, Actually, let me lay out her name here so you guys could kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. So I just laid all of the letters out on her crib so you guys can kind of get an idea what it's going to look like. These I bought on Hobby Lobby. They're nice and big and I feel like they go with the whole like boho feel that we're going for. This last letter, if you guys can see, it's an L. I'm going to cut it here and create an I. Actually, the company, I was reading tons of like reviews. They don't make the letter I. A couple of letters are missing, so a lot of people like want to use them, but they can't because they can't spell their child's name. But lucky for me, I'm gonna turn the L into an I and we have Capri's name right there. Now we did a measurement and it's 84 and a half length. My mom's just cutting it with an X-Acto knife at the bottom because the way that you purchase these, they come in like strips and you just measure your wall, but it's of course not gonna be the exact size unless you're really lucky. <laughs> so we just have to cut off some of the bottom.
side. All right, so the wallpaper is all complete. We finished doing the letters. You guys can see how pretty. I am so happy how this came out. I love that the letters are like nice and subtle and natural because the wallpaper is very busy, so it gives a nice little pop and have like this 3D effect, so they pop out from the wall spelling out her name. So we have Capri's name right there, and I think the letters also go beautifully with her crib. The last piece we'll have to do for this side of the wall is to add a little boho mobile that I ordered. So I'm so excited to get that up in like about a week but it's coming together nicely you guys and I think it looks so beautiful okay so I just put um, the camera up on like these shelves hopefully you guys can see me well enough because I want to ask you your opinion on something in this nursery I bought two different mirrors because I want to do mirrors and two shelves above the dresser here so I bought this one here that it's like this rattan style and I love that it almost looks like a sunburst Let's see. And it's more on the smaller side. And I got it on clearance at Home Goods for just $15. So such a great price. So this one would go right over here if you guys could see that. So I love that it gives like a more little like feminine touch to Capri's room since we stick stuck to pretty gender neutral and we didn't know the gender. Now that she's here and it's a girl, I want to add like little touches of girliness but still keep it very neutral. Or this other one, I feel like it definitely looks a lot more substantial and it's bigger, like a darker wood look. And then it has that light, like natural wood as well, similar to all of the wood pieces in her room, her crib, things like that. And like I said, it's a little bit larger, so it looks more sturdier and fuller above the dresser. Or this one right here. And same thing, I would still do two floating shelves on the side. So vote below, do you like this circular one or do you like more the rattan starburst style? Um, the mirror. On this cardboard? Yeah. And then you're gonna, that's gonna be your trace? You're gonna trace that? Yeah. That's how you're gonna do it? Alright, so I didn't show you guys. I wanna come and show you the mirror. So this is the frame here, as you can see. If you're familiar with the anthropology mirror, this mirror is literally like, I wanna say it comes out to like $1,800. It's 700, seven feet tall. And it's so, so beautiful, but I, of course, didn't want to spend the 1800 that it was. So I actually found this frame on Facebook Marketplace. And we just either had the option to find a mirror to add into it or what we're going to do because we feel like it's safer and it's also cheaper is to add some mirrored acrylic. So Mike's just using this sample acrylic that the place gave us so he could practice because if you can see the top of the mirror is like an oval shape. So we got the large piece and he just needs to cut it out to create that shape for when he adds it into the insert of the mirror. So I'll just show you a close up. It has like that really pretty vintage feel. And I love that it's not like a bright gold because if you want to mix metals and things like that, you definitely can. So this will go really pretty with our new bed and I feel like it'll just elongate the room. Don't have to worry about the weight of it, the saving of the money, and of course most important for me is the safety of the kids. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's now evening time because with any DIY, none of the projects go exactly as planned. Mike had to go to Home Depot to get a different blade because the one that he had wasn't able to cut this thick acrylic. So this one has like teeth on it and so far he's curved the top edge since the top of the mirror is more curved and now he's straightening and like thinning out the sides. Right, so it's the next day now because as you guys saw it was getting dark outside. Mike couldn't really see to be able to finish. It was getting late. So now it's the next day we're going to be finishing up the mirror. This way we can install it and then we'll bring it upstairs. He just has to honestly trim the sides and if fingers crossed that it's going to fit upstairs we're going to try because our ceilings are eight feet and this like I said this mirror is like seven feet while daddy and I are working Capri's upstairs napping and Mila is living her best life daddy, right sleeping. you're sleeping <laughs> it's a sunny day I wish I was you I wish I could be relaxing here laying napping
we came three separate trips as you can see the heaviest part was of course of course the mirror super hot outside so we're like dying of heat right now i might just put cardboard on the bottom this way we can lift it up and get it up against the wall Alright you guys, the mirror is now all together, all in place. You can of course see Mike's tools over there because he was just using it to kind of make sure the back was really intact and that it was all put together. But it goes all the way almost up to our ceilings as you can see. It's a huge mirror but I feel like it makes such a beautiful statement piece. But this is definitely going to be a great piece and do the transition of our whole like bedroom makeover that I'm going to get working on. In my next vlog I'm going to share some new home purchases. One of them being our new king size bed and all of that fun stuff. But this now completes today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed Enjoy spending the day with us, tackling some DIYs. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future home and motherhood videos. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.